Hey guys, Justin here. There's a few pieces of gear that are absolutely essential if you want to start backpacking, and a cook kit falls into that category. Today I want to talk about what I think is the best bang for the buck cook kit on the market. This is an all-in-one cook kit that performs well, is fairly lightweight, and costs less than $25. You might have seen this kind of cook kit before. It's a pretty generic design, and it's sold under a whole bunch of different brands. You can pick it up on Amazon, or if you want to save a few bucks and don't mind waiting for the shipping, then you can also pick it up on AliExpress. I'll post links to both of those places in the video description. Let's get into the cook kit. I'll talk about all the different pieces that comes with it, tell you about how it performs, and you can make a decision on whether this is the cook kit that you've been missing in your life. First up, it comes with this nice mesh bag here that you can store everything in, which is quite nice. It does weigh a little bit, but not too bad. And then there's this lid slash cup slash secondary pot that comes with it as well. And then once you take out the main pot here, you have this other pot that has some extendable handles on it and then you have a stove as well as utensils. And I'm gonna talk about all these different pieces individually, what they weigh and how they perform and whether I like them on an individual level as well as as part of an entire kit. When I'm going out on a trip and I have used this cook kit on quite a few trips, I wanted to make sure that I tested it out so that I can make sure it's a good recommendation for you guys. I usually just bring the pot, the lid, the stove, the spoon and I put that inside of the mesh bag here and that entire kit weighs 13.5 ounces and that's really good weight for a full kit like this. But let's talk about each of the items individually. We'll put aside the pot and the utensils for now and start off talking about the stove because this thing is quite a good stove for how much it costs and that it comes with the kit. Most cook kits do not come with a stove. So this thing weighs three ounces and is a canister stove. So what that means is that it fits onto any of these kind of classic fuel canisters that you can get at any outdoor store, it just screws right on there. And something that I really liked about this stove compared to a lot of other budget stoves on the market is that it screws onto the canister really well. It threads on very easily and you don't lose a lot of gas. This isn't a very full canister, but you didn't hear any gas escape when I screwed that on. And some of the other budget stoves I have, you definitely would. You may see some other types of stoves out there that use different fuel, but I like canister stoves, they're easy. The canisters are readily available in North America and it's just a no fuss solution. So if you're just getting into backpacking, definitely I think canister is the way to go. As well with the stove, it has these four arms right here and they fold out. So there's just this little foldy piece here that extends out and then you can put the pot on top of it. I find these arms to be pretty good. Perfect for this pot actually, but not great for any sort of larger pot that you might be cooking with. If you have something that's 1.5 or two liters or more, then these arms probably aren't gonna cut it for you. There's gonna be not quite enough stability there for that bigger, heavier pot. Something else that this stove has that some might consider a feature is a Paiso igniter. So that's this button right here that you press and that sends a spark up through the top here and it's supposed to light the fuel. So if I turn the wire right here, this opens up the valve for the fuel and you can hear it going out right then. And then if I press the Paiso igniter, it's supposed to light, there we go. So it took three tries. I found that the Paiso igniter is very, very unreliable with this stove. It maybe works one in 10 times. So I highly recommend bringing a lighter with you in order to light the stove. Then you have no muss, no fuss. Will work every single time. The flame is pretty good on the stove. You can see that the burner is actually fairly wide. And while I've used it with this pot, it's boiled water pretty quickly. I haven't actually measured the time, but I've never kind of been sitting around waiting for it. It always boils nice and quickly. I haven't taken it out in super cold temperatures, just to about freezing or just a little bit below. And in those temperatures, it worked quite well. I didn't see any degradation in performance, but I'd like to take it out in the winter and see how it performs then. I have a feeling because it's an unregulated stove, so that there's no regulator that's making sure you have consistent pressure coming out of the burner. I think that it's not gonna perform super well in the wintertime. Let's set the stove aside. We'll talk about the pot and lid system here. So the pot is a 900 milliliter pot. There's markings on the inside, which is a really nice feature and on the outside. And you can use those to make sure that you're filling up just the amount of water that you need. If you're making a freeze dried meal, normally those will tell you that they need 300, 400, 500 milliliters of water. You can make sure that you're putting in just enough water into your pot so you're not boiling too much water or too little water. That's a really nice feature and probably quite underlooked for a lot of pots out there. As well, the pot has insulated handles that fold out. I really like that the handles fold in to make a nice compact pot. And then once they fold out, it's really easy to grab them. And because the handle's are insulated, you're not gonna have to worry about burning yourself when grabbing the pot off a fire or off of your stove system. Both the pot and the lid are made of aluminum and aluminum is really good for cooking in the pot or simmering foods. So if you have a pot made of another material like titanium, then you're often gonna get hot spots on the bottom and then have burnt bits on the bottom of your pot, which isn't quite as good. 
So because of that, I think the aluminum that this pot's made of is very versatile and one of my favorite features of this cook kit. Often people will store their fuel canisters inside the pot. This pot will actually fit a medium sized 220 gram fuel canister. So you can stick that in there. And then with that in there, you can actually still fit the stove and utensils and then put the lid on top and put it into the bag. That's a really nice feature being able to put all of your cook kit in one place not having it flopping around in different places in your backpack. So next up we have the utensils. We have a fork, a knife, and a spoon. And these each weigh just under an ounce and are made of stainless steel. I would have liked to see them made of aluminum. It probably would have cut the weight of each of them in half, if not a little bit more, which would have been really nice. But they're, they work and they're good. They're folding items, so they do fold at the middle there, which makes it so that you can stick them in the pot, which is one of the really nice features about this. And then in order to lock the folding in, there's a little slider there you slide that in and then it locks in it's nice and sturdy the problem with these kind of normal or regular size spoons is they're great if you're eating out of the lid like here you can just get right in there no problem where they start to not perform as well as if you're eating out of a freeze-dried meal bag or a freezer bag it's just a little bit harder to get down to the bottom without having to stick your whole hand into the bag so what i actually like to do is i go to dairy queen I get a blizzard and I use their longer spoon in order to eat out of the freezer bag or the freeze dried meal bags. So who is this cook kit for specifically? It performs well, it doesn't weigh a lot, and it's very affordable. And because of that, I think it can be really used for anyone who just wants an easy all-in-one option. Go on Amazon, buy it, shows up on your door that same day or the next day. As well as if you're just getting into backpacking, all-in-one options are really nice because you don't have to do a whole ton of research into different things. I've done the work, I've done the research for you, and I can tell you that this pot, the stove, Everything works really well in this and you don't need to worry about it dying on you in the middle of the backcountry. And because of that, it's a really good option for experienced backpackers who just want an all-in-one solution. Or if you want a secondary cook kit around just in case the one that you have breaks or if you need to lend it to someone, this is a really good option for that as well. I think it's amazing that you can get a cook kit that weighs as little as this one does and costs under $25. That's amazing. If you're interested in another video that I've done on budget gear items, I think are amazing buys. I'll post a link to that right up there. Otherwise, thanks for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already.